Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be working with Ubuntu server. Now, obviously, I can't just pull up a hardware server, so I have an Ubuntu server that I use for Minecraft and other things. And we are going to be going over how to install the WeCan project manager. So I need to quickly make sure everything looks good, and I think we're good. So WeCan, I highly recommend you set this project manager up. If you're planning on hosting your hosting it yourself, set it up on Ubuntu and set it up with Snap. Now, Snap is going to be the best way to go, just because, like, if you don't go with Snap, you're going to have to deal with setting up all the databases and everything yourself. And that's really not fun. So, and just check out how easy it is to set this up. So you can do sudo snap install we can. And uh, it's going to start the snappy daemon and it should go and grab the files that we need. So it's downloading our snap. It's going to take a little bit of time. But uh, honestly, uh, just evangelizing about snap packages, snap packages are a game changer. If you're trying to set up your own Trello project board alternative, uh, just set up a, a Ubuntu server, just install it, and then just do sudo snap we can and point the IP address to whoever wants to use it. Set up your own domain if that's what you're going to do. If it's on a local LAN, you can probably just give someone the IP address or the host name. And... Uh, it's really that simple. You don't have to fiddle with SQL or PHP. You don't even really need to know how a lot of this web, te web technology works. And that's why I find it really refreshing. So now that this is installed, it's going to mount it and set it all up. And then we can just open up a web browser tab and we can access our WeCan setup. And that is really, really cool. So before we get started on the mounting and accessing it through the web interface, you should probably find out the IP address. So for my Ubuntu server here, I can do IP ADDR and then show. Now it's on my public LAN. I don't use 192. So my IP address is going to be 10.196.1.135. So I can then open up an IP address or a private window because I don't want you guys to see all my bookmarks. Go to 10. Point and then here we go. I think that's the wrong IP address. 35. Now, sometimes it's going to take a little bit of time to start up. And that's just because that's the nature of snap packages. Like, I expect it to start right away, and it usually doesn't. Usually, you have to wait like a couple of minutes. All right, so the snap is finally started up. To access it, you have to do port 8080. So, once you get there, you can just log in and set your stuff up. And it's really that simple. We've got it running. And I also managed to install it on my own computer just to show you that you don't need to have an Ubuntu server, you know. I mean, what I would recommend if you have a desktop is if you want to host this for yourself and for other people on your LAN, set up an Ubuntu VM like I have and then just port the IP, you know, bridge the adapter and then it can access the regular network and then everyone can use it you can create snapshots and it's pretty worth it but if you don't want to use vms you know snap the snap store supports everything so should be lsp okay we see that we have i have it installed here on my regular ubuntu desktop and i can just do localhost 8080 and it's the same thing so we get the same thing uh so you guys that's how you set up the weekend project board uh once again, once you get it installed, you can just go and fill out the sign up stuff and just give this IP address to everybody who wants to use the project manager. And that's how it works. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video.